Um, so the obvious question to this question is, of course, um, so write your code right from the start so you don't have to debug it. But it gets you I'm uh, Klaus Jakobson from Stockholm. Uh, I have some stuff on, on CPAN and GitHub and you can follow my Twitter. I'm the CTO of Trusty Group. We do uh, consumer to consumer, uh, consumer to bank, bank to consumer uh, instant bank payments. So we transfer money from these bank accounts. And the problem is there that we rely on the bank systems and they're not entirely stable, so to say. In case you've noticed, um, they actually lost like 20 transactions for us and it's taken about like, half a year to get them back. Um, we produce a lot of logs, like 20, 30 gigabytes of data every day. Gosh. Um, so, um, I want a better solution for this. And Whenever stuff goes wrong, I want to know, can I be able to see it in, in, in retrospect? Uh, I really hate writing login code, it's extremely boring. I have a friend of mine who is an embedded hacker and he wrote some stuff on one of Intel's x86 uh, emulators. And what they can do is they can record everything that happened and play it back later. And actually go back and play up to a certain point and tweak it and uh, continue running. Uh, I can't do that. But at this point, the VCR function on the curve. So, um, during, um, during sort of a this summer, I had to get a little project um, that doesn't use the debugger, or, and it's fairly lightweight, so I can run it in production. And uh, Perl has this wonderful little uh, Java variable called PRUNOS, which is a pointer to the function that runs your log code. Um, and you can replace that and do funny things. So, Brumbox Recorder is the name of, of the. Uh, it's a VCR free program. It records next statements, it uh, records a subroutine, it was dice, and some other kind of events. And it has a couple of standard viewers. And you can write your own tools. Uh, there's similar stuff in C like Brumbox Trace. So it's fairly easy to use, just install it using C for minus or C for plus or whatever your favorite story is. Uh, I tested it with 5.14 and that what should work. Uh, you start your recording normally, but you can do it in, in source as well, but on the command line. Uh, and it creates a directory called R and the timestamp of your running, and you can later review it using uh, R review or this is the built in terminal. So let's see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is more modular mine. Uh, let's see if I have the right one. Um, so, it runs basically a normal speed. And you see this, you have a directory here. And since, since the size of each event is, is 
the same size, we can jump back and forth and uh, uh, if, if we encounter die we want to backstay, which is implemented yet, but it will do. So what do we write? Write keyframes, uh, which is a special kind of event, so we contain the currently running process. Um, and we write some timestamps, and we write switch file when we encounter another source file. Uh, and next statement is meant to stop and we record dies and we also record when you access the lexical which is going to be used for tracking variable changes. Uh, right, so that's the first part of the demo. Then, of course, how do you use this in production? Uh, you can pass it minus die, which means that every time something throws an exception, it will create a dump of the buffer uh, and don't write anything more to that. So you can end up with a lot of buffers uh, for every time. And let's see how that works. So two more of those. Which is called every time we find a time. So let's see. 
That works. Um. Right, so I should have four dice in this file, right? Because I saved four dumps. <laughs> Yeah. 
have the best structures which has to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes. So a lot of options to find where and how much you need to do. More questions? It's on sleep plan, so you can use it right now. But I haven't pushed the last uh, stuff I did this morning. <laughs> <laughs>